Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. They leave after Ms. Sabiha tells Sevahir to stay away from my family and loved ones, otherwise you will understand that what I said is not an empty threat. While Yasmin and Harun are talking about the party for the baby, they suddenly start arguing. Harun gets up from the table and leaves, but Yasmin tells Severi, don't worry, I will convince her. While Miss Sabiha is thinking that she will find a way to convince Sevahir no matter what, when Baron comes to her, Miss Sabiha is first surprised and then when Baron asks, she mentions that they were talking about work. Even though Baron forces Sabiha, she cannot get a word out of her, but even if she is not convinced, they leave and go their separate ways. Since Ghoul could not reach Fireit, she became very curious and at that moment, Fireit came and hugged Ghoul when he saw her. Yasmin somehow manages to convince Harun. Dylan is very angry at Baron and Ghoul tries to calm her down. While Yasmin plans extreme things for the gender party, Harun thinks just as simply. While placing spoons and forks on Severi, she finds the envelope with the gender of the baby written on it and takes it. Baron comes to the room and Dylan trips him. Baron holds Dylan's hands and explains that whatever I do, I do it for our family, I have to do it, so don't be angry with me. Dylan says, every time you go out, I sit on edge in this house, I always think about you and our baby, and as a mother, I have to protect the life inside me. Baron says I have to protect you both, I will handle everything, don't worry. When Dylan suddenly says that it smells like chocolate, Baron takes it out of his pocket and gives it to Dylan. Dylan is very happy when he sees the chocolate and immediately opens it and starts eating it. Then Baron takes a rose from his pocket and hands it to Dylan. Miss Cater prepares a very beautiful table and everyone, including Uncle Ahmet, gathers at that table. They all eat together and have pleasant conversations. Miss Sabiha tells Haven that she saw Baron with Sevahir. Without realizing who Sevahir is, he decides that he will do what is necessary and asks Haven to call the lawyer. While Dylan eats with great appetite, Ms. Azade watches him with a smile. They make good wishes together and say amen in unison. Uncle Ahmet says that there is good in everything that happens. When Yasmin says it's a film festival and then asks if we should go together, Harun says I can't come to the film festival, he's choking me, I'd better get up and goes home. Baron thinks about Sevahir's conversation in which he told the story of the fox and the wolf. Then he thinks about what Miss Sabiha is doing with this man, and then he remembers the time when Sevahir asked if there were any developments regarding the attack. Karabai women all sit together and knit. Ms. Azade says show this blanket to Dylan and see how it turned out. When Dylan opens the blanket and shows it to him, he says that he is a school student, but he can do a great job, and ladies Dylan and Cater smile. Mr. Baron Kudret calls Fireit and Chihan to his study and says that we should investigate again, thinking that Sabiha Hanum and Sevahir are meeting and Sevahir constantly appears in front of him. He says that he met the water bearer's wife in Fireit and that the woman told him that someone had given money to her husband one night, but she could not see who it was. Then I heard footsteps behind me, I think I was being followed. When I say Baron, it means we should be more cautious from now on. While Miss Sabiha is sitting, Dylan calls and asks, our conversation was incomplete, are you still not going to say anything? When Miss Sabiha says, I don't want to involve you in these matters, my dear daughter, Dylan gets angry, saying what I went through because of that man. Miss Sabiha tells Dylan that you will never be harmed, I will not allow this, and they hang up the phone. Haven informs Sabiha that a lawyer has arrived. While Fired is thinking sadly, Ghoul comes to him and asks, there is something wrong with you, what happened? Fired tries to convince him by telling other things, but Ghoul is not convinced. When Fired says, I'm thinking about what I did in the past, I'm thinking about the mistakes I made in my past, Ghoul says, we've closed those books, I don't want to learn anything about the past, I love this Fired, just leave it alone, please. While Dylan is sleeping, Baron brings him a glass of milk. Dylan says, thanks to you, 
I drank so much milk that when the baby is born, there will be no need to breastfeed. Dylan then says how clear Ms. Azade is about the baby boy, and Baron says, how nice, if it's a boy, he'll give you his weight in gold. Dylan says, but I won't weigh you in this state, I'll wait until I'm in my final state. Then they hug and go to bed. In the morning, when Baron says good morning to Dylan, he feels nauseous and Baron offers him a pretzel, but Dylan does not want to eat it and goes to the sink. Just then, Baron comes quickly and thinks that Dylan will enter before him, but Baron only came to open the door for Dylan. While Sevahir is playing chess and saying that the fate of all of you is in my hands, Sir comes and says that he has divided Sabiha Hanum's inheritance. Sevahir instructs the poet, what is this woman trying to do? Let's punish this woman for what she did before. Yasmin makes a plan and when she opens the drawer to get the envelope with the gender of the baby, they cannot find it and they argue about where it went and blame each other. Baron keeps thinking about the moment when Sabiha Hanim and Sevahir met. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.